Okay, so one of the things you might want to do when you're thinking about drainage design is having parcels in on your site. So if you look in here, I've got uh, some contours around 53 and 54 meters on a surface. And what I'm going to do is just put in a parcel and then put in some very basic drainage just to see, just to show you how it's done. Okay. So the starting point for this really would be to draw a polyline. So a PL and enter. And I'm just going to draw a polyline out here. The shape of it doesn't make any difference really. Uh, and I'm going to close that back. Okay, so we've got a polyline uh, here. Now I'm going to pretend that that's, we'll say, a car park or some kind of a hard standing area. Uh, what I might do is um, make another polyline. I'm just going to know my object snaps. Make another polyline out here so that I might have what might be considered a second site or a second uh, part of the car park or hard standing area and close that back as well. Okay, so I've just got two polylines uh, that are adjacent like that. So to create a parcel, what you need to do is come up to the Home tab and you'll see on your screen here an option, a drop down menu for parcel. And if you drop down that menu and go to Create Parcel from Objects, click on the first polyline and press Enter. Now we can uh, look at some settings here, um, but to be quite honest with you, most of the defaults are going to be okay. Um, if I'm going to consider these to be car parks, maybe or hard standing areas, I might just change the um, the uh, type to something like proposed roads, and the label style will be the parcel number and the area. That's fine. And I'm going to erase the entity, the original entities down here. So that will actually get rid of the polyline that I've drawn. And you can see there now I've got uh, a plot in here. I'm going to do the same thing again for my second plot. So create parcel from objects, click on the object, press enter. This will automatically be uh, named uh, plot number two. But again, I'm going to change this one to uh, proposed roads, which is going to be what I'm going to use my parcel style for if I'm thinking about car parking. And again, I'm going to leave arrays uh, existing entities turned on. And there I have plot two. OK. Now, uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring those into storm and sanitary analysis. Uh, so to do that, I really have to have a pipe network created, first of all. So I'm just going to come up here to my uh, pipe network creation tools. And I'm just going to go with uh, storm drainage, storm water. I'm going to associate these with the surface that I've got in this drawing called existing ground. I'm not associating them with um, an alignment. And for the label, I'm just going to call it uh, data with connected pipes. And for the pipe label style, I'm going to say um, size and 2D length and go OK. Now, I'm not going to go into the settings of uh, the different um, options on this toolbar up here because I've done that in a, a different video. What I'm going to do is just go straight into drawing uh, the network. So I'm going to put a manhole here, another manhole here, another manhole here, and press enter. Okay, so just have a very basic um, pipe network in there. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to export that as an XML file. So I have to come up to my output, export to land XML. And I'm going to leave everything ticked here. I'm going to bring the whole lot in. Uh, as the XML file. So I'm just going to go OK to that. Now it's going to ask me where do I want to save it. So I'm going to save this one to uh, the name of this file is Parcel Tutorial. So I'm just going to leave it at that Parcel Tutorial XML and save. And that's the Civil 3D end of it done for the moment. The next thing to do then would be to open up the Storm and Sanitary Analysis. Uh, let me just resize my window here now. My storm and sanitary analysis will look something like this. So I've resized my window there. Uh, this is the storm and sanitary analysis application. Now to get my civil 3D information into this, I have to go up to the file and import um, land XML. It's actually popping out on the wrong side of my one here. It should be popping out on the right, but it's coming out on the left. But when you hover over Im uh, import, one of the pop out menus uh, will say land XML file. And when you click on that, uh, the computer will prompt you to go to 
um, where you save that. Now I've kept mine on my on my desktop. I've got a little file in, folder in here. Uh, and there it is there, Parcel Tutorial XML. And when you double click on that, it will bring that information into our uh, storm and sanitary analysis. And here you get a plan view of the um, XML data. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing the two parcels that I've created plus the pipe network. OK, and it is important to do that in Civil 3D because these parcels then become areas that can have pipe networks connected to them. So you might decide if this is a car park area, it's going to be 100% uh, hard standing and that will have an effect on the runoff rate. So you create your parcels in Civil 3D, you export them as an XML file and you import them into Storm and Sanitary Analysis. And that's how they appear on this map in here.